Hello everyone. This is the question which was asked in the AKTU examination 2016-17. Let's solve this problem for the equivalence. So we have to verify if the automata 1 and automata 2 are equivalent or not. So the first thing that needs to be verified if the initial state is the final state in both the automata or not. So you can see that in the first automata, the Q0 state is the final state and in the second automata also Q4 state is the final state. So initial state is the final state in both the automata. So it means that we can go ahead. Now let's take the pair. The first pair that we select is Q0 and Q4, which are the initial states. And the input symbols here are A only. So we have to see the transitions with symbol A only. So alphabet set contains only A. So we will need to uh, see the transitions with A only. So now you can see that Q0 on taking A goes to Q1 and Q4 on getting A moves to Q5. Now you can see that Q1 is the intermediate state in first automata and Q5 is the intermediate state in the second automata. So next pair that we need to take is Q1 and Q5 because in the automata, it looks like that this is the new pair which has got generated. So now Q1 on taking small a moves to Q2 state and Q5 on taking a, a moves to Q6 state. Now Q2 is the final state and Q6 is also the final state. It means we should move ahead to go, go for more computations. There is no discrepancy. The new pair which has got generated is Q2, Q6. Q6. By taking a symbol small a in Q2 state, I move to Q3 state. And by taking symbol Q6, I move to Q3, Q7 state. So now Q3 and Q7, both are the intermediate states. Hence, I can move ahead for more computations. The new states or the new pair which have got generated are Q3 and Q7. Now Q3 on taking symbol A moves to Q0 state and Q7 on taking the symbol A moves to Q8 state and Q0 and Q8 both are the final states. Hence, I can say that I can move ahead for more computation. Now the new symbols which have got generated are Q0 and Q8. By taking A in Q0, I move to Q1. And by taking A in Q8, I move to Q9. Both of these are the intermediate state in their respective automata. Hence, there is no discrepancy and I can move ahead for the more computation. The new pair which has got generated is Q1, Q9. And Q1 on getting A moves to Q2. And Q9 on getting A moves to Q10. And both of these are the final states. So there is no discrepancy and I can move ahead with the more computations. I don't get a space here. I am just extending this table on the right hand side. So the new pair which has got generated is Q1 and Q9. We have not taken it earlier. So Q1 and Q9 is the pair that we'll take and we'll show the transition of this with the symbol A. So now Q1 and Q9, Q1 moves to Q2 and Q9 moves to Q10. Sorry, Q not Q1, Q9, but we have to take it Q2, Q10. So Q2 moves to Q3 by taking a symbol small a and Q10 moves to Q11. Q3 and Q11 both are the intermediate state. Hence, there is no discrepancy and we should move ahead with the more computation. So now Q3 and Q11 by taking the symbols small a, this moves to Q0 and Q11 moves to Q4 and Q0, Q4 both are the final states in their respective automata. Hence, I can say that uh, these automatas looks equivalent, but Q0, Q4 is not any new pair, which is the pair that we have started with. So I think that uh, we have com completed our computations. And in this case, I can say that the A1 automata and the A2 automata are equivalent and they accept the same language. So I hope you must have understood this uh, comp these computations. And we will take more examples uh, from the university papers. Thanks for watching this video.